boy, am I tardy to the party in this one. So yes, uh, as I stated previously, this channel is going to be pretty much like a, like a diary to me. Even though right now I'm posting a lot of videos about like the Acolyte and how I'm fixing the Acolyte, I still want to talk about other stuff. <laughs> And right now I want to rant a little bit about Deadpool and Wolverine. You can consider this thing a review, you can consider it a rant, you can whatever you want. I will dive a little bit into spoilers. But anyways, this is my opinion put out to the wind about Wolverine and Deadpool or Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, you know, before I watched the movie for a second time, I got asked by my brother if I liked it because we didn't see it uh, together for the, the first time. I watched it and I watched it again tonight. I just came out of it and he asked me right before the movie started, hey, did you, did you like it? And I said, yes and no. And the reason why is like absolutely simple. I didn't like Deadpool and Wolverine because it was clearly Disney. And I liked it because it was Deadpool. So let me explain. Deadpool has, I know what I'm going, uh, you know, I'm, I know what I'm going for whenever I watch a Deadpool movie, the first one and the second one, uh, breaking the fourth wall, taking jabs at himself, lots of sexual jokes, lots of like yada, 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 yada. And to be honest with you, it's, it's fine. Deadpool is not my favorite character, like by, by any means. Uh, it can be annoying from time to time. And I, I think that sometimes Deadpool forgets to be a character and it's just a quirk, but it's fine. Like I know, I know why I'm there, you know? So it's not necessarily anything that surprises me and then obviously i i love the action seeing deadpool and wolverine fighting and you know like going toe to toe like it's it's good like the action is great i think the choreography is fantastic seeing wolverine act more animal like more like the comic and seeing all the cameos and stuff like yeah it's it's good i liked it I, it was fine it was fine so i'm 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 done with it you know and that's what I liked about it, because it was like a Deadpool movie. Great. But there's a lot of things that I didn't like. And in my opinion, makes this the weakest Deadpool movie. The number one reason is because, as I mentioned, it's very Disney. And what I mean with Disney is that Marvel Disney, since they started doing the multiverse thing, uh, a lot of the a lot of the movies have become progressively worse one after the other and it's for one particular reason there's a common denominator in all of this and that is the fact that it doesn't matter nothing that happens now in marvel movies matter at all and in my idiot dumb opinion for a movie to be good aside from being good itself it needs to matter it needs to justify its own existence you can say that about a lot of movies what is the message what it's like is this progressing is this the blah 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 but the moment you introduce the multiverse then nothing feels that it's a stake and nothing, nothing feels that matters anymore because if a guy if one of them dies you're gonna have uh, from another multiverse the same character and it's there it is it's fine just the way it happened with loki Loki died in uh, Infinity War, and his dead, his death is now cheapened by the fact that he got reborn technically, but we are now assuming that he's the same Loki because he saw the same things that the other Loki saw, and same thing with Gamora, and it's like, does anything matter anymore? Does like, is there any impact or stake? Like, it used to be like, save New York, then save the US, then save the world, now save the universe, now save the multi-universe, you know? It's like, uh, really? What's, what's next? Like, Dragon Ball is running into the same problem, <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> I wonder what the new villain's gonna try to destroy. 
if, if, if they're like, what's bigger than the multiverse? So uh, at that point, I'm just like, uh, and that's how we start with Deadpool. We start with Deadpool from Earth 616. He gets rejected from the Avengers. And then we go into Deadpool from Earth 1000 and something. And it's like, okay, we're not in the in the Deadpool, like the original Deadpool timeline. We're in a separate timeline that is very similar to our timeline. But just in case something like deviates a lot, well, there you go, you know. Wolverine is not from the original timeline, it's from another timeline, everything's from another timeline, so it doesn't matter. And at the end, during the fight, and you know, they were, they were addressing it actually, that Deadpool was Marvel Jesus, that everything could be restored because of him. And then you see that the, that the plot is taking you to this um, Nova, whatever the fuck her name is. She's about to destroy the multiverse. And, and and I just kept thinking to myself, are they going to have the balls to do that? Are they going to have the balls to to listen to the fans and just get rid of the multiverse once and for all? And for Deadpool to actually become Marvel Jesus? Because it's like Chekhov's gone, right? You're alluring to something, then do that something, or show that something, or use it. So Deadpool saying that he's the Marvel, the Marvel Jesus, and then we have like even jokes at the multiverse being bad, and just take the L and move on. And then we see that this movie is heavily implying that the multiverse is going to be destroyed. Just for the end, it's not. Nothing happens. This Deadpool movie happens in its own little bubble over there. It's just a nice little collaboration with Wolverine for, for one. And But does it affect the overall story? Does it affect the Marvel? Does it affect anything? It doesn't. So watching it, you're watching it for the spectacle of it. But not because it's, a, it's like a movie that progresses the story. Like it used to be that every single Marvel movie mattered because everything that happened in those movies like would carry on to the next thing and because they would focus on one singular thing at once then it it, it made sense it mattered but now it doesn't there's like 27 things um there's like 27 things happening all at once and every single thing they need to do like a recap of everything that you're missing so you understand what so you understand what's happening just in case if you haven't seen the other things so because they're doing that recap you truly feel like you're missing a lot of information after endgame i really couldn't care less about the marvel universe anymore i watched the spider-man movie but i didn't watch loki i didn't watch i i started watching wanda and that, uh, in my opinion, one that was the same thing. It had the potential to be something, but at the end, nothing happened. No one died. Nothing at stake. Nothing. Then that's how I feel about this Deadpool movie. Like, I feel like if you go knowing that nothing matters and you shouldn't take this thing seriously, you're going to have a great, lots of fun. It's great. Fantastic. Good. Move on. But if you go thinking that, oh, this is going to affect the overall MCU and this is like a course correct into, into the things, it's not. Um, because nothing happens, like in any other Disney Marvel movie in recent time or uh, project. Because it's not about a movie anymore, it's about projects and content. It's, it's not movies, it's just content. So, yeah, this is the equivalent to a collaboration between Mr. Beast and whatever other YouTuber. Like, that's it. Like, is it going to affect anything at all in the YouTube sphere? No, it's not. Just continue. So, I, I, you know, I can't really say that I liked it or that I didn't like it. Because a, a part of me liked it and a part of me didn't like it. I liked it for the reasons that I stated. And I didn't like it for the reasons that I stated. But let me know what you think about it. Because at the end of the day, you know, it's a conversation. So I would like to hear your thoughts on it. These are my honest thoughts on this movie. 
and that's it bye